You see, this is a nice green vegetable. This is called a broccoli. <laughs> I was told that one broccoli a day, you'll get all the vitamin C that you need, you know, for every day. So you should chew on this every day, and you don't have to <laughs> swallow all those pills. <laughs> I'm going to show you another technique, how to handle the vegetable, to make them greener and more nutritious. But before I do that, I'd like to show you how to sharpen the cleaver, okay? Now, you don't need a fancy stone or anything. Just get one of these. China plate with a rough bottom edge right there. See, it's made in China. <laughs> then you get your cleaver, hold it properly with two finger here and the thumb on the other side. And all you have to do, just go like this. Now, just like that, this side, and go away from you. Always go away. Otherwise, you will get yourself into a lot of trouble. <laughs> this is the way to sharpen it, okay? Now, then you use it to cut your broccoli. Now, this is the broccoli. And then, first of all, you cut your flower red just like this. Okay, break it off like this. Now, then move it away. Then you get your broccoli stalk. Now, don't throw this away. There are many ways to do this. One is cut it into slices just like this. Now, down here. Now, the reason why you want to cut it diagonally is to allow greater surface exposed to the heat, and then it will take a very short time, you know, to cook. Now, so much for the vegetable. And with me, I also have some of the carrot slices and onion uh, square. Now, let's go to get our friend. His name is Frankie. <laughs> it's a flank sticks, a piece of beef, you know, right here. Now, the reason why I like to use flank sticks is because you can see the grain going up and down. And when you slice this, and then you slice it across the grain of the meat, that's all you have to do. If you keep this piece of meat half frozen, that would make your slicing 10 times easier. Now remember, the corner of the knife must be down, and then there you are, and then keep slicing back and forth. Now that's all you have to do. Okay, once you're good, you can go any speed you want. This is called a 10 speed cleaver. <laughs> once you get it, put it there, away you go. Very simple, heat up your wok, and I have a wok full of water right here. It's been boiling, and it's hot. And I put some of the salt there, I put a little bit of salt, about a quarter teaspoonful, a little bit of vegetable oil. That's all you have to do. This is special so that you can keep all the vegetable nice and green and colorful. Now then you put it in there. Once the water starts boiling, that's all you have to do. This is called a branching method. Now, branching. Then you heat up the other wok and ready for your walking. There you are. Always use high heat because the actual cooking time is very, very short. And it doesn't take long at all. Now, okay. Now, wait until the wok is hot, then you can start the cooking. Now, sometimes, while you're waiting, you can prepare your beef a little bit by putting a little bit of the light soy sauce, half teaspoonful, and a little bit of sesame seed oil. Now, that's all you have to do. And then, in order to add some makeup to it, you will use one teaspoonful of the cornstarch or tapioca starch. That's all you have to do, just mix up this. Okay? Now, you can do this ahead of time. You know, hours ahead of time, or you can do it just before cooking. Now, the wall is hot. You can see the holy smoke coming up. <laughs> two tablespoons of vegetable oil. One and two. Ha! Huh. There you are. Then you put a little bit of garlic. And the onion. There you are. I put it there. Now, make sure the oil is hot before you do the cooking. Otherwise, the food will get stuck to the bottom of the wall. Now, stir it for about 15 seconds. And then you put the beef right in. Just like that. Now, isn't it great? Now, keep turning, keep turning. Now, you can see how good the wok is. Because right now, all the beef, they're being cooked and being attacked by this hot oil and also the flavor of the garlic and the onion. This is exciting. You don't cook this 100%, you can cook it about 80%. Make them a medium well. Until you don't see the red color, you know, outside. That's almost ready. Now, then you can throw in all those... Uh, Carrot, there you are. Now, isn't that great? Mix it up, you're just like this. And then you get your broccoli. Get a Chinese fishing net. There you are now. See, pick it up. Oh, isn't that good? Good idea. Now, see, now you can strain and drain. Look at how green it is. Just like my cooking, very green. And then you put it right into the beef. That's it, now you mix it up. Oh, isn't that great? And now, don't forget, 
the gourmet sauce, the star solution that I showed you earlier. You just get some of this thing in, and then it would make the food look really shiny and nice. Just a little bit will do wonder. Then you get your plate organized. Look at that. We are getting ourselves ready. Now, you look at the beef right here. All the sauce are boiling and good. And we are all set to go. Just take up your walk. And this dish is excellent. You know, to go with steamed rice or even chow mein noodle. To have more fun, there you are. You wear this little hat. And then there's a special steam and for you. <laughs>